Terry, first of all, bringing in Elias Sorensen at a target you've been after for a while? Yeah, you know, he's a proven goal scorer in the under-23 level. Um, and then he's gone away with um, Denmark and, and uh, scored on his debut, scored two in two games, 245 minutes. Um, so yeah, delighted to get him. Yeah, what was it that convinced him to come here? A few teams, I believe, were in after him. I think, uh, obviously, Sean Longstaff here last year, you know, that's worked for, for Longy. Um, and we thank Newcastle very much for, for letting us have him. Uh, he'd obviously spoke to Longy, and, um, you know, you have to say it, it was a good loan for Sean Longstaff, and um, and he's, he's played in the Premier League now. Yeah, what did you say to him coming into to this football club? Uh, way hey man <laughs> um, no it was brilliant when I first spoke to him and, he, and he, he's a Geordie isn't he so uh, the Jan Moby of the North East and uh, now he's a, he's a confident young man and uh, he's got a bit about him and, uh, and he really wanted to come yeah. are you surprised that like I say he hasn't maybe gone into a, a championship team with the sort of scoring record he's got yeah possibly but I think you know uh, he will want to play won't he so he might run the risk of not playing as much as he's like Um so just a real coup for us, good, great capture for us, and um, we're delighted to have him. Yeah. Does he go into the team pretty much straight away for this weekend? He goes into the squad. Yeah. Um, goes straight into the squad, and uh, and hopefully gets on the pitch. Yeah. yeah. Um, certainly one to forget maybe last weekend. What positives were coming out of that game? Um, clean sheets, uh, Tilty playing uh, the full game and playing well. Um, I'm struggling now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it really. Uh, what about players coming in? Have you kind of done your dealings? Was Sonnenson the sort of last one for you to come in, or are you still looking around? You, you never know in this game, do you? So um, maybe maybe one more. Okay. In what areas? To help us score a goal. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about players going out? Obviously, McLaughlin goes out. Was that more for his benefit as well as maybe just you know releasing another player to bring somebody else in? Yeah, both, you know, and he, he wants to play, he hasn't had as much opportunity as he would like, he's trained ever so well, um, just didn't get the opportunity he wanted, wanted to play, and like a couple of others, you know, haven't played as much as they'd want, and so possibly one or two more, you know, might want to go and do that and seek football elsewhere. Uh, looking into this weekend, come to you, what are you expecting from them? Football and team, you know, they like to, to pass, um, play good football, uh, switch to play, um, so it's going to be a, it's going to be another game. It's, it'll be different to Shrewsbury, that's for sure. Um, but as you say, hopefully uh, gives us a bit more space and uh, <coughs> for us to get our attacks going. Injuries wise, going into this weekend, how are you looking, squad? Getting better. Uh, Ollie Turton now. And we could have we could have involved him on Saturday. Um, he hadn't done a lot of training, but he's had the full week this week, and I thought he was terrific Monday, Tuesday in the training. So so he certainly comes back into contention. Obviously having Tilty back. Um, We'll see how Mark Howard goes today. Um, and hopefully Joe Dodo's training Monday. So getting better.